Hello there, my friend. I'm so glad you're able to join me here for a slice and a piece of cake. My friend, it is self-heating Sunday suppers. These self-heating meals, easy peasy. And especially on days like this where I'm tired, I came home from work, I had a bath, I'm in my PJs. I'm ready for bed, but I'm starving. And these self-heating meals, all you gotta do, my friend, is add water to the chemical pack and in 15 minutes, you have a meal, not the healthiest meal, very high in sodium. This, my friend, is the sea cucumber rice with abalone sauce and wild rice. This, I picked up at TNT for $6.31. This was on clearance uh, because the best before was approaching. Now, the self-heating meals, they range in price from $6.99 up to like $13.99. I can't remember the last time I actually ate a sea cucumber, if I ate any at all. If I did, it might've been in a banquet years and like years ago. Uh, so excited for this. Let's take a look at the nutrition facts. They've given you the nutrition facts for the sauce pack and for the rice. Let's just take a look at the sodium. It's 518 milligrams for the sauce pack and 74 milligrams for the instant rice. Well, I guess they ain't too bad. Maybe this is a healthy one. These are the instructions. It's very simple. It's all basically the same. These are great to have. Like there was an earthquake. I missed it. I was in Portland, um, but I guess there was an earthquake and you know, the big one can hit any time. This kind of stuff would be perfect in the event of any kind of emergency because all you need is water. All right, let's take the sleeve out. So that's what we're looking at here. I'm sure there's not going to be a big thing of Shanghai bok choy there. So we have the cooking tray here, which contains the bag of rice. So this one comes with a spoon. This is the magic. This is the chemical pack that's gonna heat up the meal. And this is, they're calling it the dish bag. So this is the sauce with the sea cucumber. This is the cooking vessel. Now, some of these heating meals that contain the rice, some of them come with packages of um, pre-measured water. But in this case, I think we're going to have to add the water because in the warning, it says, note, when you take this product out, you need to prepare drinkable water. Initially, I thought, okay, there's a lot of sodium, so you're going to be thirsty. But uh, no, I think they mean you're going to have to put water to this self-heating meal. Let's get cooking, my friend. We're gonna put the rice pack in this slot here, the smaller slot. We're gonna put this dish bag. Um, don't know why it's called that, but we're gonna put the dish bag in this larger compartment. Now I've tried an abalone rice and it looks like it's the same company. Whoa, look at that glump. All right, look at this congealed glob of goodness. We're just gonna add water, but I think this is the fill line. I'm just gonna put a little less just because um, I want the rice a little firmer because last time I think it was a little bit mushy. Next, we'll just put this chemical pack at the bottom here. So that's what that looks like. When you add the water at the end of it, it looks like a puffy pillow. So we're just going to put that at the bottom and we're just going to put water up to this line here. 
Okay, we gotta work fast because this kind of is like instantaneous. So we're gonna put this tray in here. This thing freaks me out. You actually have to work really fast. As you can see, the chemical reaction's already started. I don't know if you can see this, the steam here. Timer is set for 15 minutes. Let me just slide this over. So you can feel it, it's hot already. All right. TNT brings in these self-heating meals, new ones, every so often. There's a couple that I do want to pick up. They're on the more expensive end of these self-heating meals. They're like $13. Hot. I'm telling you, my friends, you got to be careful with this. Okay, so while we wait for this to self-heat, what should we get eating on? How about some Asian Oreos? Now, I picked this up in T at TNT for 50 cents because why it's expired that's why oh my gosh do you see the steam it's going crazy so this my friend uh is the hawthorne flavored oreos oh my gosh this is like looking really puffy it's kind of worrying so oh my god This is kind of like puffy. Let's hope it doesn't like explode on me. Just leave it alone, leave it alone. That's what we're looking at, my friend. Hawthorne flavored Oreos. How unique. So uh, let's get eating, my friend. All right, so this is Hawthorne Flavor Oreo Sandwich Cookies. This is a product of China. And per five cookies, which is 30 grams, it is 149 calories, five, sorry, six grams of fat, low sugar, only three grams. Well, let's get eating on some Hawthorne Flavored Oreos. This is 190 grams, my friend, for 50 cents. Not gonna complain about it. And my friends, with any kind of Oreos, if you don't like the filling, cause that's basically all it is, two biscuits with the filling, just scrape off the filling and just crush up the cookies and you can make, oh, how unique. They're individually packaged. There's four packs in here. Four packs. Okay, that's unique. I kind of like that better. So what was the nutritional facts per five cookies? So you probably get five in a pack here. Of course, I picked a pack that was all crushed up. Okay, so these are thin Oreos, my friend. Oh, I'm gonna like burn myself. So let's see how many you get in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get eight in a pack. Eight, of course, that's a lucky number for Asians. Okay, they're really tiny. Thin and very tiny. It doesn't really look like there's a lot of filling in here. Usually you can twist these and open these cookies, but this one's kind of hard to, oh, okay, there we go. Bon Appetit. I'm just gonna eat it like this.
it's not too bad. There's a little bit of a tartness to this. It's sweet, but it's tart at the same time. I mean, these are bad for 50 cents. Would I run out and buy these again? Uh, no, my friend, I would not buy these again. I ain't complaining. This was 50 cents, but definitely no, I, I would not be running out and looking for these. Unique. I'll eat the crushed up ones. Okay, so it's died down. So let's see what's, see how much time we have left. Okay, about uh, six minutes to go, my friend. Mm. It's sweet, but there's a hint of tartness. Whoops. Now, I do like these thin Oreos. I mean, this is the perfect bite, perfect size. Nice and thin. Yeah, these aren't bad. I'm not complaining. I only paid 50 cents for these. Mmm. These self-heating meals are great. Like I said, I'm tired, I don't feel like cooking. Just, just had to add water. That was the toughest part of this self-heating meal. And waiting. Lots of content on my channel, my friends. So make sure you check out some of my other videos. Um, I think you're gonna be really shocked this week for Fried Chicken Friday. Make sure you come back for Fried Chicken Friday because, yeah, yeah, my friend. I think you're going to want to watch that episode. Yeah, I do. I'll leave it at that, my friend. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to eat this. Sea cucumber rice. I don't know. I can't remember when I had sea cucumber last. Maybe... Because I think the sea cucumbers are not cheap. So um, if I did have it, it was probably at a wedding, like, you know, when banquets were a big thing. 20 years ago, maybe, you know. I guess to make these kind of things healthier, you can add bok choy or some kind of vegetable, Shanghai bok choy. Um, but this one actually is not that... Time to eat, my friend. This one is actually low in sodium. I mean, I guess when you combine the sauce and the rice, 518 plus 74 milligrams of sodium for rice, that'd be 25%, which is really, that's kind of low compared to what it normally is on, on some of these. Um self-heating meals. All right, are we ready for the big reveal? So we have the rice. The rice is a little mushy. And so this is the sauce. I do remember the abalone rice. I'll link the other um, abalone rice self-heating meal at the end of this. And I do remember the sauce was really good. So it looks like mushrooms here. Or is that the sea cucumber? It 
So that's what the self-heating pack looks like, like a puffy pillow. If you want your rice firmer, just put less water. Like this is still a little mushy to me. Can you scoop the rice into the sauce? Mmm, looks so good. I love rice with just sauce, honestly. This looks good. So that's the sea cucumber. That is the sea cucumber. Bon appetit. Kind of look like a mushroom there for a sec. Tastes like a mushroom. Let's see what's in this. Abalone sauce, water, chicken, pork, starch, oyster sauce, brewed soy sauce, chicken powder seasoning, abalone extract, MSG, sugar, edible salt, food additives. Okay, sea cucumber, apricot, chlorotis, shiitake, oh, wild rice. So maybe I ate a... Maybe I ate a mushroom. I don't know where the sea, sea cucumber is. Maybe that's the sea cucumber, my friend. Yeah, maybe that's what that was. Anyways, let's get eating, my friend. Not bad. Is it the best flavor? It's okay. You know, I'm tired, like I said, I'm hungry. Didn't have to do much cooking, just added water. I think that was the cute sea cucumber. Mm. Is this the sea cucumber, my friend? Okay, I think that was the sea cucumber. Kind of like gelatin almost. Different. Yeah, it's like jelly. Well, this wasn't too bad for $6.31. Not bad. I mean, do I need to purchase this sea cucumber rice with abalone sauce and wild rice? The answer is, it's a yellow light. I mean, definitely I would consider purchasing it again. Um, just as emergency food um, and if it's on sale. Like I, I, I think the regular price on the abalone rice is like $9.99 regular price. So I'm assuming this would be $9.99. I would not pay $9.99 for it, but I paid like $6. If it's reduced to clear again, yeah, I would potentially pick it up again. 
just to have as emergency food. I'm hungry. I'm gonna finish this and head to bed. I'm tired, my friend. I hope you have an amazing week ahead, my friend. As always, take care, stay safe, stay hydrated. We'll see you in the next video.